Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the MSI Cyborg 14A13V. To open this small gaming machine, you have to undo eight Phillips head screws. Turn over the device and carefully pry the back step by step with a thin plastic tool until all internal clips are released. Flip the laptop. Pop the front as well as the left side and the right one to the level of the audio jack. The ladder slightly sticks out of the motherboard, and that's why you can't lift the plate straight up. Lift the bottom panel on the left and carefully slide it to the right. This laptop has a 53.5 watt hour battery. To remove it, detach the connector by pulling it to the right and undo the three Phillips head screws that hold the unit fixed to the chassis. The capacity is enough for three hours and a half of video playback. Our test was conducted with the battery saver preset activated in the Windows power and battery menu and the super battery mode applied in the MSI center. The balance mode should be selected in the BIOS in the user scenario section. The RAM zone is covered with a metal cap, and you can lift it with a lever tool. On the inside, the plate is glued to the slots with a small pad. It's pretty sticky, so don't pull the shield with excessive force to avoid possible damage. According to MSI, the two SODIMs can handle up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5,200 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. For storage upgrades, there is just one M.2 slot compatible with 2280 Gen 4 NVMe drives. We are happy to see a long, thick thermal pad below the SSD for additional cooling. The Wi-Fi 6E card is on the left of the battery. The thermal system seems decent for such a compact device. It comprises one large fan, three heat pipes, two heat sinks, and three heat spreaders.